My name is Jamie and this is the vlog for January 5th, 2024. I've um, vlogged in a long time and it was kind of a cool experiment so I kind of want to, I don't know, weasel my way back in here every once in a while to remind myself of what's going on. So, um, I don't do New Year's resolutions but I'm not against New Year's resolutions either. So, that said, um, we took a road trip to visit my family uh, in California from our home in Washington over the Christmas break. Uh, and the vacation was a nice time to kind of like sit back and recenter. We drove, so it's a 20 hour <laughs> one way trip. Um, but we broke it up into several days and did some fun stuff along the way and all that jazz. Um, but it really kind of like made me reflect back on some things. And I, honestly, I do this every year around my birthday. My birthday is only a couple weeks away. So this is pretty typical of me celebrating my own personal new year here shortly. Uh, so this last year, um, big landmarks, uh, I twisted my ankle, sprained it severely, uh, two days before a weightlifting competition. And I was really excited to go to the competition cause it was probably the first time in a couple of years I've been able to train pretty realistically towards a goal, but, um, my foot being several times the size that it should be stopped me from being able to go and do more than coach. That said, there is value in coaching and showing up and being part of the team, even if you're on crutches. Uh, the downside is here we are, January, seven months later, um, my foot is still messed up. Uh, I've done all the things all the doctors, all four of them, have told me what to do. I've done all of them. Um, and I'm still in pain every day. Um, some days I'm limping. So is it surgical? The surgeon says I might not see any change even after surgery. So this might be a permanent lifelong thing. So what can I do in the meantime? She says push through the pain. I'm not going to make it worse. Um, given that recommendation, I've started um, moving more and resting less, which physically feels really good. And I think emotionally and mentally feels really good too. Because uh, being laid up for the last six months has been harder than I thought. Um, it's also brought some clarity to my thinking too. Like we are a household of half finished projects around here. Um, and it's driving me batty. And I think the stress from that, um, was a thing and going on vacation gave me and my husband a chance to kind of like sit down and talk and go, look, like, I know we have really good intentions, but we need to do less. Like clearly we just need to finish what we start and move on. Um, why that's so hard, I don't know, but it is. So, um, I guess goals for the new year, new me, new year are finish what you start and get back into the things that feel good. Um, which probably means I was battling some low level depression for quite a while. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me, honestly. Um, owning your own business is incredibly stressful, even though I love what I do. I don't love the business end of what I do. <laughs> And that's the part where like the government can come after you if you screw something up. So um, that's a lot of pressure. Um, I haven't been taking much care of me because I've been too busy trying to be all things to all people and failing and then feeling like a failure because I can't get anything done because I'm trying too hard to be all things to all people. Um, and I guess that's a typical, uh, very typical um, way to feel, especially this age. Uh, in my life. I can't believe I'm going to be 44 in a couple of weeks. Um, kind of actually a little bit excited about it this time. I guess I'm my, I don't think I had a midlife crisis, but it's over or hasn't started yet or whatever. But, uh, this year we are also going to Japan, which is very exciting, a little bit scary, <laughs> but more exciting than anything else. Um, we've been talking about an international trip for quite a while, you know, beyond Mexico. Um, and I'm glad that we have the rewards points to pull it off. Um, so we've been learning some Japanese and I've been learning some Japanese and I've been learning that I am better at foreign languages than I thought. I always thought it was awful. Um, it turns out it's not that bad. Uh, let's see. What else? Um, kiddo's doing pretty well in school. Um, we are at a stage where we are seeking some evaluation from some of the school um uh, local school district, um, folks regarding seeing if she's dyslexic. Um, cause we're seeing some backwards writing that she should have grown out of and complaints that like the words are blurry and things that sound like dyslexia. Um, she reads really well because she has an amazing memory. So that's kind of her superpower is if you can teach her a word 
Um, she'll remember it. She'll recognize it again. And she'll probably know what it means. But if she has to sound something out, it pretty much doesn't exist. Um, so lots of time and energy goes into that and into making sure she's okay. And now that I'm at a stage in my life where I'm like, she's going to be okay. My husband's going to be okay. You take care of me. Um, prioritize myself a bit more. I'm getting into more, like I said, more exercise, eating better, um, showing up and being super present with my clients. Um, and just like stopping the comparison game and just doing what I do and what I'm good at and what I enjoy. I don't know why sometimes that seems so hard and something that's, um, so out of reach when there's so much other stuff to tackle, but, um, enjoying my husband's probably last year or so on shore duty. Um, and then he's going to go back to deployable status again. So life will once again, get interesting, but I don't need to see that far ahead and solve that problem today. Today, I just have to go let the dog in and then go see a client. So the weather is cold. I'm really hoping for snow by my birthday, but I could do without the ice. Anyway, today's so far a pretty good day. Hopefully tomorrow will be even better.